<laughs> Let's see if Santana Barola makes that official for later on tonight. Sing versus Santana. Please welcome to the Impact Zone, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Well, last week here on Impact, Josh Alexander had an opportunity to speak here on the Impact Zone. He provided no explanation for his actions at Slammiversary. Please welcome to the Impact Zone, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Right now, Tom, he's not even providing his presence here in the Impact Zone, apparently. Uh, I'm getting word right now that Josh Alexander is backstage with our broadcast colleague, Gia Miller. Josh, you were scheduled to be out there tonight, but you're not. Gia, what, scheduled, whatever. You want to come get me? You want to tell me to go? Well, I don't not, have to. You're on my job. time. I, I, I have to ask you the questions, Josh. Why? Why did Why? you do what you did? Why? You want an explanation. Yes. Montreal wants an explanation. Okay. I'm the greatest Canadian professional wrestler walking God's green earth. I am from the greatest city in this country, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I don't owe these people. I don't owe the fans. I don't owe you an explanation. You want to believe in Nick Nemeth. You want to believe in Joe Hendry. Well, I believe in me. I have carried this company on my back for years. I'm the reason this place has doors to open for the likes of Nick Nemeth to be here and Joe Hendry. This company has been carried by me for far too long. I don't owe you an explanation, them an explanation, and you know what? <laughs> I'm done. Not another word out of you, and I don't care about these people or anybody else anymore. Yeah, you okay? I'm all right, thank you, thank you. Good luck. Well, the walking weapon has made it very clear he owes nothing to nobody. We are gonna move forward with our uh, scheduled action tonight. The following contest is set for football. Introducing first, from Hollywood, California, the Hollywood Hub, Brian. Great. Well, simply put, there's some extremely raw emotions there from Josh Alexander. This is deep-seated. This seems like it's something that's been stirring around in his head for quite some time. And you know what? I can't blame him. Hopefully, we'll get some more words as we go down the line. But right now, we're getting ready for one-on-one -on -one action as the brother of, you heard him named there from Josh Alexander, Nick Nemeth, Ryan Nemeth here, set for one-on-one -on -one action. opponent from Yucca Valley, California, Frankie Kazarian. Meanwhile, it was Frankie Kazarian who was one of the final two in the main event of Slammiversary, the six-way elimination match for the TNA World Championship. He nearly captured the title that has eluded him throughout his illustrious 26-year career, nearly crowned himself the king of TNA officially, but it was Nick Nemeth who withstood Kazarian and the rest of the field to become your new TNA World Champion. And don't forget, still to come tonight, it's the first defense of the TNA World title since November of last year here on Impact as the new champion Nick Nemeth defends against Mustafa Ali. Well, you have to imagine, especially after how Slammiversary ended, Frankie Kazarian has not stopped his crusade to capture that TNA world title. As we saw last week, Ryan Nemeth and Frankie Kazarian came face to face. Kazarian was upset about the outcome of Slammiversary. Naturally wanted to get back to the TNA World Championship despite coming up short. Ryan Nemeth saying to Kazarian, you and I have some unfinished business and Santina Morella making this match official. So there's the bell. This match is underway here in Montreal. Oh, you know what's next. You know what? I love Jade Chung, but you'd think she would learn by now, Tom. Not this crap again. Jade's just doing her job.
Frankie Kazarian for <laughs> Frankie Kazarian would like for me to remind you all that he is in fact the king of TNA. Here we go. Uh, Kazarian Ooh. rushes at Ryan Nemeth. The match officially underway, of course, and Kazarian charging Nemeth. Wasting no time, the king of TNA strikes at his prey. Oh. Kazarian cutting down Ryan Nemeth. You have to imagine a part of Frankie Kazarian is seeing the face of Ryan's brother, Nick Nemeth, the current TNA world champion. Wow. Ryan Nemeth takes down Kazarian, and to your point, remember in the lead up to Slammiversary, oh, yeah, the medical status of Nick Nemeth was in question for a number of weeks. We'd found Nick Nemeth taken out mysteriously backstage on Impact. Ryan Nemeth caught Kazarian on candid camera, and we discovered that it was Kaz who attempted to take Nick Nemeth out of the equation for Slammiversary. Proof of the threat that Nick Nemeth posed to the rest of the field as well as Kazarian to potentially capture the TNA World Championship as the one and man did that night right here in Montreal. Yeah, like I said, you have to imagine Kazarian could potentially send a message to the champ through his own brother, but Ryan Let's Nemeth go! not letting that one happen without a fight. And Kazarian in a little bit of trouble here. Kazarian, who got put through a table in the course of that six-way elimination match. We had all but forgotten that Kazarian was even still legally a part of the matchup. He nearly vultured in and captured the TNA World title. There you saw it. Ooh! Ryan Nemeth was going for a neck breaker blocked by the King. Kazarian has taken over against Ryan Nemeth. Can the Hollywood Hunk get back in it? This match continues, picture in picture. Kazarian had a brief moment of worry there, but was able to counter and shut down Ryan Nemeth in this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Frankie Kazarian dead set on sending a message to TNA World Champion Nick Nemeth here. Belly to back suplex there by Frankie Kazarian. Have you had a chance to speak to Kazarian? You and I know very well how much he is invested in capturing the TNA world title. Uh, of course. I mean, look, Lord knows Frankie Kazarian ain't talking to you, Tom. That's right. Let's, let's not be silly. What a shame. But, you know, from one king to another, Kaz has told me that that was his moment. And once again, one thing you people have against deodorant. He said it, not me. You're totally, he's 100% right. Mocking the fans here in Montreal. And, and just like this building stinks like Canadians, that whole situation and Slammiversary stink. Kaz had his moment. I don't know if you're ever, I don't know if you're ever gonna be able to cross the border again, bud. Hey, it's all right. It, oh, big, big punishment. I don't have to come to Canada anymore. Oh! Now Ryan Nemeth charging at Kazarian, dump with a power slam off the ropes, Boom! springboard leg drop. Classic king of TNA right there. Now a little heartbreak kid. Frankie. Heartbreak king, heartbreak oh, king of you TNA. So much. You're supposed to be good at words now. He makes one trip to NXT, he takes one picture with Shawn Michaels, and he heads to Montreal, and all of a sudden, he's got jokes. No, nah, he's just good. You don't need jokes when you're good, when you're the best, some of the best TNA has to offer. Knee oh, right to the midsection of Ryan Nemeth. Now maintaining full control here, Brian Nemeth. Hollywood Hulk gonna have to try to, yeah, there you go, try to find a way to fight out of this. Section and Kazarian Easy. continues to apply this cravat. Nemeth, though, finding a way to get back, consistently get back to his feet here. But oh, that knee's nasty there. Ooh. Rolling through with a neck breaker. The crafty veteran Frankie Kazarian, a five time X Division champion. 
Frankie Kazarian has done everything there is to do in this company except for one thing, and it is win that world title. Now Frankie Kazarian punishing the brother of our current world champion to send a message. And we are back here on TNA Impact. This is Frankie Kazarian one-on-one -on -one with Ryan Nemeth. These two, some unfinished business from the lead up to Slammiversary. It was Frankie Kazarian who tried to take out Ryan's brother, the brand new TNA World Champion, Nick Nemeth, in the lead up to Slammiversary. And look at Ryan Nemeth go. And clearly, the Hollywood Hawk has not forgotten that either as he tees off on Frankie Kazarian here. Off of the ropes, oh, big clothesline by Ryan Nemeth. Still to come tonight, Nick Nemeth will be defending his brand new TNA World Championship for the first time against the former X Division champion, Mustafa Ali, right here on Impact. I can't wait to see the TNA World title be made great again by the inspirational man himself, Mustafa Ali. Neck breaker, here's the cover, shoulders down and a kick out, and also right here in Montreal, the French Canadian Frankenstein is getting married. It's PCO and Steph Delanders wedding tonight on Impact. Yeah, I can't wait for that freak show to go down. As whoa. Mammoth here been able to evade Frankie Kazarian. Turn Kazarian inside out. Here's the cover. Hook to the leg and a kick out. And uh, Ray Wall, we were supposed to hear from Josh Alexander before this matchup in the impact zone. He refused to come out here. Said that he owes the fans here in Montreal, TNA fans, no explanation for what he did at Slammiversary. Ryan Nemeth is checking on Gio Miller to make sure she's okay. And now Nemeth going to the top rope. Cross body here on Kazarian. Oh, Kaz roll through. Shoulders down. Oh, and a kick out by Ryan Nemeth. Kazarian, a series of strikes and a clothesline, and down goes Ryan Nemeth. And the self-proclaimed king of TNA, looking to take a shot at the reigning TNA world champion, Nick Nemeth, via his brother. Making this personal. Oh, now thinking about the fade to black here, and Ryan Nemeth gets to the ropes and protects himself. And it's scouted there. Oh, oh! Kaz had Nemeth scouted on that one. Leg drop right to the back of the neck. Going for the oh. slingshot. Oh. Oh. And all the ring. Plants him. Cover. And Frankie Kazarian has beaten Ryan Nemeth. Here's your winner, Frankie Kazarian. And the king of TNA showing you why the crown stays on his head. The path continues to the TNA World Championship for Frankie Kazarian. Frankie Kazarian cares about one thing. That's right. Ha -ha. It's always a pleasure to have a king of TNA out here in the ring. The self-proclaimed king of TNA, one of the many targeting our brand new TNA world champion, Nick Nemeth. Oh, wait a minute, and look who's here in the impact zone. Josh Alexander. Walking right past Frankie Kazarian and heading for the ring. I thought Josh Alexander was too good to step in front of the fans here tonight in Montreal, as he said earlier on tonight. Well, maybe he's had a change of heart, but clearly he has. Oh, wait, hold up. And Alexander going after Ryan Nemeth. Save for Spike. Josh Alexander said earlier that the work that he has done in this company laid the foundation for the likes of Joe Hendry and Nick Nemeth 
to become stars here in TNA. And if you ask me, there is no hole in his logic. There is no word untrue in what the walking weapon says. And right now, he has used that anger to send a message directly to the TNA World Champion.